Hey what's up guys Rishav here welcome back to yet another ROM video. Today we have the Pixel Plus UI which aims to provide a clean stock pixel experience with no fancy customization options. We will be diving in depth of this ROM and tell you what makes this ROM special over the others. So let's have a look at the UI first. So we get the Pixel Launcher by default. Swipe up will bring the app drawer, swipe left to bring the Google Feeds, swipe down to pull the notification bar and here as it is based on Android 11, notifications are categorized into different groups. Also we have the Oxygen OS style time display in the quick toggle settings which is quite a nice touch to have. So up till now everything seems stock ASP like. Now let's head on to settings and see what all options we get to play around here. The first thing you will notice is that the header part is a bit larger which does push down the main content a little bit lower so that it can be easily accessible even while using single handedly. Although again it is common to all the other Android 11 ROM. Now as I said there isn't a much of a customization options but there are some accent color, icon shape and font change options present under display settings which does give a little bit of flexibility although again it is also present on other Android 11 ROMs. We do have an option of double tap to wake which is always a handy feature to have but we don't get the double tap to sleep so we have to switch to Nova Launcher to enable that functionality. Now the benefit of having such a lightweight UI is the performance. I have been using this ROM quite heavily and the phone doesn't show any hiccups or lag in daily use. The RAM management is also pretty decent. It scored 100% in Don't Kill My App which means it hasn't closed any apps in the background while on standby. Now as far as battery is concerned, I get around 10 hours plus of screen on time on regular basis based on my usage. So yeah, performance is the biggest plus for this ROM. Also the ROM supports 33W charging so this ROM gets all the basic things done right. As for general stuffs like Wi-Fi, hotspot, Bluetooth, everything is working without any problem. Although I do find that phone struggles a bit on dual 4G mode. Also, the video calling through dialer is working sometimes so you need to rely on WhatsApp or IMO for video calling. Now another reason what makes it special is the fact that you can run banking apps without any issues. So if you are looking for the ROM which can run banking apps, then this is the one you must be flashing. Talking about flashing, the process of installing this ROM is pretty straightforward. First up, make sure you backed up everything including your internal memory, then simply wipe data and cache flash the ROM and reboot. If you are facing boot loop which you will most likely in the POCO M2 Pro, flash the decrypt zip file and enjoy the Pixel Plus UI. Now who is this ROM for? Well if you are into Pixel experience and doesn't care about customization and you want a stable ROM where you can also use banking apps then Pixel Plus UI is for you. Otherwise you can check out some other ROMs uh, like Oxygen OS and Pixel Experience. I had already made a video on them so you can check out that videos for more detail. And that's pretty much it for today's video. If you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and also comment down below which ROM should I try on next. Until then, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one.